Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see the program to convert from decimal to hexadecimal equivalent. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2024 theory paper. So according to the question, we have to design a class deci hex to accept a positive integer in decimal number system from the user and display its hexadecimal equivalent. So these are the examples. When the number input is 25, we get the hexadecimal equivalent as 19. Similarly, if the decimal number is 28, we get the hexadecimal equivalent as 1c. And these are the members of the class. The class name is decihex. Num is the variable to store the positive integer. Hexa is a string to store the hexadecimal equivalent of the number. Then we have a constructor. We have get num to receive the number from the user. We have the function convert and this is going to be a recursive function that will convert the decimal number into its hexadecimal equivalent. And finally display. So this function is going to display both the decimal number and its hexadecimal equivalent. So display is in turn going to call the convert function and then it is going to display the result. And we also need to create the main function to create an object of the class and call all the functions accordingly to enable the task. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I have created a file decihex.java. Let's start with the import statement. And then we create a class decihex. We include the data members num and hexa. We define the constructor. It's a non-parameterized constructor. So num will be zero and hexa will be an empty string. Now the get num function public void get num. We create the scanner object for user input. We ask for the number. I can write a message decimal number equal to. So num equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Next, we create the recursive function convert public void convert and it is taking one argument n of integer data type. Now, this is the number that we are going to convert into hexadecimal. Now, if n is 0, then the hexadecimal value will also be 0. So, in double quotes, hexa will also be 0. Else, we extract the individual hexadecimal digits. So, int d is equal to n modulus 16. Now, if this digit or if this remainder is less than 10, then hexa is equal to digit plus hexa. Directly, the digit will be concatenated to the front. Otherwise, we take 
the help of switch we put the digit inside it and the remaining possible cases case 10 which means a so we write hexa is equal to a plus hexa similarly case 11 hexa is equal to b plus hexa then break case 12 hexa is equal to c plus hexa break case 13 d plus hexa break e plus hexa break and finally the last possible case case 15 hexa is equal to f plus hexa now once this is done our switch case is done and once we come out of this else right this is our else so once we come out of this else if n by 16 is still greater than 0 that means we still need to work we still need to repeat this task so we are going to call the function n slash 16 and our convert function is complete let's now create the display function public void display so we print decimal number is equal to num and hexadecimal equivalent equal to hexa now let's create the main function and here we will create an object of the decihex class we call the getNum function then we call the display function now the convert function needs to be called here and we know that the convert function is taking one argument so we have to pass the number so automatically the conversion will take place and then the result will be displayed using the display function so that's it our program is complete let's save and check the output so we are asked for the decimal number if i pass 25 yes we are getting 19 and if we pass 28 we get 1c so i hope you have understood how to convert from decimal to hexadecimal using a recursive function thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class